Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Glenn. In our today's video, we will talk about solving quadratic equations by extracting the square root. Actually guys, meron na akong video nito about solving quadratic equations by extracting the square roots gamit yung iPad ko. And I will rebound this video, okay, by this whiteboard. And sana, uh, matutunan niyo yung techniques and in simple ways on how to solve quadratic equations extracting the square roots. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So guys, um, we know that when we talk about solving quadratic equations, I know that you're familiar with this form. We have ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. This is the standard form of any quadratic equations. Now, ang bagong form na bibig sa inyo, for us to solve a given quadratic equation by extracting the square root, ay ito. So I will erase this one. So I hope na ma-memorize mo tong form na to. You have the x squared is equal to c. So ang gagawin mo lang dito guys, is you need to manipulate the given equation wherein the quadratic term should be separated from the constant term. Usually yung ginagawa natin kasi kapag naka-standard form, pinagsama-sama natin lahat ng terms sa isang side ng equation. So dito, for us to solve quadratic equations by extracting the square roots, kailangan na kahiwalay si quadratic term at yung ating constants. And before tayo mag-jump in sa ating mismong examples, isa mga key na kailangan niyo matutunan or ma-remember ay yung perfect square numbers, kahit yung 1 to 100 lang, kahit yung basic lang. So let's start with the first one. Alam naman natin na ang 1 is a perfect square because when you what when you raise one by two that is equal to one so definitely you one natin is a perfect square so sir paano po hindi sabi na perfect square um when you multiply a certain number by itself twice and the product and that product is the perfect square and another perfect square number ay yung four sir how four paano po naging paano po yung four when you raise two by 2, it will become 4. 1 and 4 are the first two perfect square numbers. Next, let's have 9. 9 is the product or the result of 3 squared. So we, have, we already have 3 perfect squares. Next, we have 16. 16 is the result of 4 squared. So I hope na nakita niyo na yung pattern. And next dito ay 25. That is the result of 5 squared. Next, we have this one, 36, as the result of 6 squared. And if we have 49, ito perfect square natin, this is the result of 7 squared, because 7 times 7 is 49. Next, we have 64. 64 is the result of 8 squared, followed by 81, by 9 squared, and lastly, 100 is, e is equal to 10 squared. Guys, ito lang yung mga basics na, ano, na gusto natin puntahan muna ngayon. Pero, wag kayo mag-end lang sa 100. Kasi meron pa yung kasunod, like 121 as the result of 11 squared, 144 as the result of 12 squared or 12 times 12. So, etong basic na to kailangan kabisado nyo na to. Okay? Sir, para, ano pong gamit nyan? Parang ganda lang, guys. Kapag kinuha mo yung square root ng 100, that is 10. Diba? I hope na nakuha nyo yung pinaka-point ko dito. Bakit kailangan uh, ma-remember nyo yung perfect square numbers. And if you have your notebook with you, you can copy this uh, first 10 perfect square numbers na meron tayo. Okay, so let me erase this one para mag-jump in na tayo sa ating first example. Now for our first example, let's try this one. Number one, let's have x squared is equal to 9. That is the basic one. x squared is equal to 9. As you can see guys, uh, this x squared is equal to 9 is already in this form. This is your quadratic term on the left side and your constant term on the right side of the equation. They are separated. 
Now, uh, without using solving quadratic equations by extracting the, the square roots, can you think of a number? Can you think of a number when we replace it by x and then we will square it and it will result to 9? Ano kaya number yung pwede natin isipin dito? Okay, so I hope na, I think na, ano, naisip nyo na yung 3. When you replace x by 3, it will become 3 squared and that is 9. Pero yun lang bang pwede? Yun lang bang pwede? And e, di ba, kapag ginawa mo siyang 3 squared, that is equal to 9. How about negative 3? At i-erase natin sa 2. Magiging 9 din ba? Yes, magiging 9 din. Because negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. So as you can see guys, by inspection, malalaman nyo na agad, ah, meron pa lang 2 possible values that can replace x. And when we square it, it will result to 9. So dito, makikita nyo na ano yung pinakonsepto ng gagawin natin mamaya kaya. And by using, extracting the square roots, we can get positive 3 and negative 3 as our answer. So let's have the solution. For this first example, all we need to do is to extract the square root of the quadratic term, the square root of x squared, and the square root of 9. For the square root of 9, or for the square root of x squared, definitely that is x. The answer is x. Yung iba kasi ginagawa nila solution dito, kinakansa nila to, kinakansa nila yung 2, it will remain, uh, you will have here the exponent of 1, which is x raised to 1, or x na lang. And then as for the square root of 9, that is positive negative 3. So always meron tayong positive negative dyan. So as you can see, yung naisip natin kanina ng positive 3 and negative 3 are the answers of this solution. So, ang solution natin ngayon, eto, x is equal to positive negative 3. Parang ganda lang siya. x is equal to 3 or negative 3. Baka kasi makonfuse kayo. Sir, bakit po isa lang ang sagot natin? Pwede yan. Now, let's jump in with the next example. So, we have number 2. Prior to number 2, let's have this example. We have x squared minus 25 is equal to 0. So again, we have x squared minus 25 is equal to 0. So as you can see, in this given quadratic equation, it is not yet in this ano, a form. Wherein, kapag nating given nyo, you need to manipulate the equation to make it x squared is equal to c. So what we will do, this negative 25 should be transposed to the other side of the equation and it will become x squared. This is our new equation. x squared is equal to 25. Sir, why positive? Because from negative, when you transpose a term, remember that, uh, it will become positive. So, meron tayo na yung x squared is equal to 25. Now, same process as you can see. Nung nalipat na natin dito yung, ano, yung mismo form natin, we need to extract. Ito na yung time na mag-extract ng derivatives na tayo. Get the square root of this, and get the square root of this, and always positive negative. And the square root of this is x, and this one is positive negative 5. So these are the values of x. x is positive 5, or x is negative 5. So let's move on with item number 3. Sana magkasya yung ano natin. For item number 3, let's try this one. Um, see, try natin to. We have 16x squared is equal to 49. Now, 16x squared is equal to 49. Uh, kung mga notice nyo guys, it is already in this form. Pero, we need to um, cancel out 16 by dividing both sides by 16 and 16. We can cancel out this one, we can cancel out this one, and ito ba, kaya ko ba siyang i-simplify? Kung hindi na, it will remain as 49 over 16, while you have x squared is equal to 49 over 16. Now, dito na tayo pasok na yung extracting the square roots. Get the square root of this, 
and get the square root of this and don't forget the positive negative and the square root of this is x while this one is positive negative what is the square root of 49 that is 7 for 16 that will give you 4 so the correct answer for item number 3 is x is equal to positive negative 7 over 4 okay so i think the basic examples happen on how to solve quadratic equations by extracting the square roots. So I will give you another example where in medyo mahirap siya ng konti. And at the end part of this video guys, I will give you activity for you to answer. Para ma-practice nyo kung ano yung natutunan nyo sa ating video. Okay? So try natin to number 4. This will be the last one. For the last example, let's try having this one. Wait lang, hanap natin example natin eh. Okay, so this one. Let's try having number four. X minus two squared is equal to 16. Yeah, that is our fourth example, guys. Now, for the fourth example, sir, bakit po yung, ano, yung left side natin, two terms na? Okay lang yan, guys. Kasi imagine nyo na lang that uh, this one, the quantity of x minus 2 squared is the same as x squared. Diba? Ang ginagawa natin is to extract the square roots. Kapag ganito nakita nyo, you have x minus 2 squared is equal to 16. Get the square root of this. Get the square root of this. So don't forget the positive negative. So ito, cancel, cancel. And then there you have it. You have x minus 2 is equal to this one positive, negative, 4. But guys, in this case, we're not yet done. Kasi meron pa tayo dito minus 2. Kailangan x lang matitira sa right side. So what you will do is you will transpose this one to the other side of the equation. And what will remain here sa left side natin is the variable x. And you will have this one, positive, negative, 4, plus 2. Again, copy positive, negative, 4. And then from negative, it will become positive. So, I simplify me yan. That is x is equal to positive muna, 4, or positive 4, plus 2. While the other is x is equal to negative naman gamitin natin, 4, plus 2. Simplify this one. The first value of x is 6. Okay? And then the other is x is equal to negative 2. Ito na yung sagot natin. These are the values of x for item number 4. Sir, what about checking? If you will check your answer, if you want to verify if your answer is correct, you will replace x by 6. Kaya natin na 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. Raise to the second power that is 16. Right? 16. 16 is equal to 16. So, tama yung first answer mo. For the second value of x, you have negative 2. If you will replace this by negative 2, that is negative 2 minus 2, and that will result to negative 4. And negative 4 squared is also equal to 16. So, tama yung sagot natin. Okay? I hope na nakuha nyo yung sagot natin, yung mga solutions natin, for, from the first to fourth example. So, this time, I will give you two quadratic equations that you need to solve for uh, using uh, extracting the square roots. First one natin is x squared is equal to 144, okay? And number 6, we have nine b squared is equal to 125. So yun lang guys, medyo madali lang examples natin. And sana... Yung mga sagot dito ay makita natin sa ating comment sections. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!